Hello everybody and welcome here on the channel of Authentic Sound. My name is Wim Winters and in this video I'm going to give you one tip, one suggestion, one idea of the prelude in C minor, book one of the well-tempered uh, clavier that I want to share with you. We're going to dive much deeper into the content and the performance of these pieces of the World Tempetic Review in the Masterclasses live every two Sunday evenings. In case you watch this much later, I will have a link to that Masterclass which will be in the future here on screen, so you can check it out. So this C minor prelude, it's about this one. It's a very difficult one in a sense, in a way that you can find and you can easily come up with a dozens of ways that this piece could be performed and you can choose different tempi, you can choose different effects, you can choose a very uh, mechanical like approach which works great. But I've played it on YouTube already and I changed my mind, not that I would reject that earlier performance. It's just so fun and so nice to experiment and try new things out. And what drives me there in this piece is the effect, which is C minor, and C minor is very deep, sorrow-like, very dark. And I was playing the harmonies of this piece. <laughs> simple but great in a way. Building the effect so the emotion behind the notes is very clear. But then the question is, are you feeling the beats, so the, the pulse of the music in half notes or every pulsation of the chord? Is there something else? Is there a kind of hidden melody within the 16th notes figures? And there might be so, because if you look at this way, when you have a strong accent on one. So then the upper notes are building the effect in a kind of so-so like figure. So boom. But then you have four accents in each bar, which is normal in common time. And two strong accents, two weak accents. And you can come up with this if you add to that layer of these sizes. The 16th notes. So each first note you give a little bit of room. How much of course that's up to you. That's the salt and pepper in your soup as a cook, as a cook. That's different with all of us and maybe from day to day but that's the basic idea I'm going to play this piece in now it gets a, a feeling it gets an emotion it gets an effect that I really like it's really serious it's it's the dark, but dark in a way that drives you to some point, and of course that's at the end with the climax. But that's of course for the masterclass. I think if you are playing this piece, just try it out in this way. I've given this years of thoughts and probably I will come back in the future a lot of times to this piece because it's you can play it in, as I said at the beginning, in very many ways and that's the great thing of course in playing music. If this is your first time here on Authentic Sound, love to have you subscribed. I'm playing music from Bach to Beethoven. Research that music sometimes from a different perspective, from within a reconstructed context, but with the sole, sole purpose of finding new layers of emotions, because that's what all musicians 
of course that's what should drive us and that's why driving me and the possibility to share that with you is mind-blowing feel privileged to do that so join the authentic sound community if you'd like to if you enjoy this video and then we see each other very soon again okay. bye